What's important is to develop in your life a kind of habit where you are looking, that you turn it around from out there and you look in here and you have the ability very easily to look what's happening. And this looking what happens also requires some honesty because very often what's happening is perhaps something that you're you know, not so happy about. Maybe it's something that, um, you know, is a bit painful. So to really look and track these things, it needs a certain courage, it needs a certain priority. And perhaps it needs a certain support. From the point of view of you guys living in the community or anybody thinking to come to a community or come to this community, what actually are we doing here? You know? What actually is work all about? What is our life all about even, you could say? Here in our community, for example, or wherever you are in the world, uh, we, everybody has a job. Here we, in our community, we have a few little businesses and different people are working in these businesses, doing different things, like, for example, running a guest house or arranging the printing, we have a publishing company, they're arranging for books to be printed or translated or such things, you see. Editing, proofreading, cooking lunch, all the normal things of life, we are doing them here in this community. It's no different from what goes on outside the community in the greater world. So then, what is the spiritual work? What is the spiritual work? If you want to release yourself from um, the kind of mindset that brings a lot of suffering, a lot of pain, a lot of unhappiness. If you want to do that, then this is what you have to do. And that's for those of you living here or living in another community or even living in the greater world. You can use whatever happens in your daily life as an opportunity to look. And so in our daily life here in our community, we have 20 people here, plus usually a few volunteers every week. And together, we are acting as a kind of mirrors for each other. If you really want to look, it doesn't require some sort of special place. You can do it anywhere, if it's your priority, if it's really, really your priority. But it's very difficult in the world that we've created, in the modern society which we've created. Most of us have pressure to do a job, and most of us have a pressure to do a job <coughs> which we don't particularly like, maybe. And in that kind of circumstance, it's very hard to look, actually. Because not many people even want to look. Most people are actually busy not looking. Most people are busy with football matches or television programs or, I don't know, the latest film in the cinema. You know, we're all busy with things which keep us busy in the world, you see, out there. And hardly anybody makes a decision to, to find out what's going on here. Very rare, very rare. And gradually, gradually, you get the message many, many times that when you're about to go out there and say, oh, I wish it didn't rain, I was going for a picnic, you know, now it's rained and my whole day is spoiled. You know, that you look inside, you look inside. <clears throat> and so as you get more and more into this habit of self-awareness, you find that you understand more and more about yourself. You understand more and more about this organic mechanism here, you know, how it's all working, you see. You get insights. You have little insights, little moments of, aha, aha. And as these little moments increase, you can't really believe anymore that you're a somebody. You can't really believe it. 
and you gradually get some kind of handle on the conditioning that you've been subjected to. And you can begin to see how this conditioning, the ideas, if you like, left from the conditioning, the beliefs that are left from the conditioning, how they stand between you and who you really are. And you begin to understand all this. And as you begin to understand it all, you don't anymore need to be so caught up in the particular um, psychological um, structure. You don't, need, don't really need it anymore. Because what's much more important is that by understanding the whole mechanism, there's a chance that you'll come to a moment when you see it so clearly, you see it so clearly that it just drops, you know, it just disappears. It's like a moment of realizing, you see, realizing a hundred percent, realizing what is true, you see, what is true.